You're watching the Bay Area's NBC 11. Now, live from NBC 11 News, this is the Bay Area Today. An estimated 250 new video games have been released just in time for the holidays. But before you go out and buy one, you want to make sure they're safe for your child. Mark Friedler is the chief executive officer of GigX, a San Francisco company that put out a great safety guide for parents. Good morning and Good thanks morning. for joining us. Thank you. Let's start out talking about a little bit of uh, some of the ratings that you give some video games. First one I know is called the ESRB. Right. What does that stand for? Uh, the ESRB is the Entertainment Software Rating Board, which is a uh, self-standing organization uh, funded by the video game publishers that does something similar to the Motion Picture Association. They rate every video game, and there's the rating from EC for early childhood games all the way up to adult only, similar to the movie rating systems. So the number one thing you should look for as a parent is what's the appropriate rating for the age of your child, and the ESRB ratings are age uh, related. And it's usually easy to find too. It's on the box, both front and back? Correct. And uh, their website, esrb.org, has, uh, has the guide to what the ratings mean as well as our site. We have a whole guide to uh, what the ratings mean as well. Which is very helpful too. The second tip you say is to know your kids' interests. Absolutely. Know what they like. If you have a basketball fan and he has a little Nerf basketball hoop in his room like my son does, or if your daughter is a big Dora fan, they're games that uh, match their interests and also match their age category. So yes, know what your children are interested in. Exactly. And know their, I guess, learning abilities as well. I mean, they can get some good learning tools out of, surprisingly, video games as well. Hand-eye coordination, different things like that. Absolutely. And in fact, a lot of the ratings, uh, there are games that are rated for uh, children, which are six and above because they think the hand-eye coordination necessary is best for a six-year and above child. That doesn't necessarily mean the content is inappropriate for a younger child. Right. So that's important to know. Okay. Um, you say, how do you find out about good games? I would think the kids are probably going to let you know. Well, that's, that's a big issue. A lot of kids come to their parents and say, Mommy, Daddy, I want this game or that game. And a lot of the most popular games are not appropriate for children. Uh, in your intro piece, you showed uh, a game with a lot of shooting. Obviously, you don't want to pick a game right. like that for, for your child. So um, step one is know the rating. Step two is know what your children like. Step three is do your research. And that's what our online rating guide is for. Uh, the GigX.com family guide is online, and you can print it out and take to the store. So we have a mother of four who's actually giving her own ratings about what her own children like. So we feel that the ability to be informed and then know what other people think, specifically a mom, and then know the fun factor should help you determine the best way to spend your 50 or $60. Because you could get overwhelmed going out there. There are so many games and videos out there. You As you mentioned, there are hundreds of titles, and uh, titles can be deceiving. You hear a name, you're like, gee, that sounds nice, but it may be totally inappropriate for your child. Right, and I've heard some names that are, are just not appropriate at all. Exactly. It's amazing the things that they do, that they have out there as well. I guess it's important to know what is going on in your own household, despite the kid not being on uh, your computer playing, but perhaps on a, a PlayStation 2, uh, Xbox, anything like that. Know what's going on in your own right. household. Right. I understand Brett, in fact, is a big play he's a PlayStation, PlayStation 2 PlayStation. fan. Do they have a rating for that? He's for I hear he's waiting for uh, a new game <laughs> coming out. I'm probably not supposed to mention the name on the air. But another thing, too, uh, a lot of people don't realize is the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox also are DVD players. Yeah. So if you don't have a DVD player at home or if you have an old clunky one, so now's a great time to go out and buy one of these next generation systems. They're less than $200. It provides a lot of entertainment for your child. Plus, you get a DVD player for free. You're going to have to start a new thing, too. Wife rating. You know, <laughs> how, how much you'll see your husband and how much you want as well. We're thinking about that. Okay. Well, I'll be the first one to contribute. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you. Happy holidays to you. Happy holidays. Uh, for more information, of course, for video game safety, all you have to do is just uh, visit NBC11.com and we'll uh, provide the appropriate links there. Unwanted faxes, waste.